Hey everyone, it's Ismay and welcome back to Dying Light 2. We're gonna be jumping on in, hitting up whatever it was that Sophie needed, I don't quite remember. Maybe doing a few side things and you know, getting ever closer to finding our sister. So let's get going. I believe we had to like talk to some vendors or something. Hey you. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals? Oh, for fox! They've already sent one of their f f f f f f fuckwits. Who? That fellow, Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney, and he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred, a uh, hundred and twenty, a uh, hundred and. Uh, Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro, there's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. Perfect. Thank you. But hey, while I'm here. Ooh, fire arrow. That's cool. But, uh, now I just really need to figure out where to buy, like, a bow and arrow. <laughs> it's really nice, really nice. I'm gonna have to get going. Alright, what do you want? I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job, first and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Okay. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. Yeah, sure, why not? Understood. I'll go report to them. <laughs> Don't keep them waiting. Well, they're gonna be waiting for a little bit. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. I have plenty of other things on my to-do list right now. If I were him, I'd clear out before he pisses people off. I'm not gonna piss people off. Well, I mean, I might, what did but you find? that's not I know the, the intent. location, but I always told your brother asked about it already. Herman, see if Barney turned on his radio. Barney, answer me. Barney. Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. I mean, no. she did say again. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago either. Fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me. Damn it all to hell. If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in a dark zone before, in the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. Go. At once. You have to find him before dawn. I'll do my best. Oh man. Okay. New nighttime quest. Oh, I grab 
father used to work as a miner in the quarries south of the old town. How's it going, kiddo? It seems I met Carl before Found you. Pretty good. And Sophie? Doing a thing for her now. A thing. I'm helping save her brother. Good. Gain her trust. Sophie might know something about Lucas's death. Not much happens around here without her knowledge. Except where her crazy brother is concerned. Watch out for Barney. He's a little bit twitchy. A little bit twitchy, you say? Is this one? So. Oh, I missed. Uh, whoops. Damn. Right. Had wanted to tell my immunity a little bit, but uh, yep, we're going now. happened some infected attacked us tore our windmill apart all our uvs are down i'm not sure how i can help if we don't get our lamps back on we won't survive the night uh yeah i'll help right. i'll do what i can all right sophie but more than one life, you know? I think we're here. Inhibitor container detected. The thing is like... I'm over here like, yeah, you know, more yeah. lives on... You're here. You see up there? Way up top. Gotta climb up there. Problem is, uh, when it comes to my sister, I probably won't be as, uh, lax, you know? Probably very, like, oh no, no. This is gonna take way more time than I wanted to. Yeah, Sophie's brother is. Might not make it. I wonder if you can like bypass this and do both if uh you like already had it unlocked. I need to go up oh, I see. Like, if you already do this windmill, does it matter? Can you have both done real quick? up they're safe hopefully that helps and honestly maybe doing this does help with this brother because i can get him to a lamp honestly this is kind of like super homing Interesting. Okay. Now that we got our immunity back up, will we help those people? Oh, shit. Okay. Sophie, I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry. Inhibitor container detected. Ooh. There's 
crystal. I assume I should be getting these while I'm in here, right? Because, like, that's what she wanted. He was gonna be alive either way. Do you hear me? Report in, Tamant. Sophie, Zayden, I found a radio and a body. Male, white, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. <sighs> That's not Barney. That's Kojak, one of ours. Barney can't be far. Okay. Our investigation. Still core first. Mm -hmm. Go through that door. Take those shrooms. Mostly still asleep. Oh, here we go, here we go. Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry, Aiden. I'm working on it, lady. Barney. Mm. Mm. Now, Barney. Like, now what am I supposed to do? Oh, he's alive. Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? Hey, Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You won't have it. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Hey, Sophie. Found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Go back to where you came from! Can't do that. Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even... Kids, don't be out of it! But, but it's true! You're damn lucky I'm busy here, dipshit! Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! I have <laughs> crystals. You can have them. Just, like, open the damn door. Great. <sighs> Goddamn. Don't touch that door! You wanna let them in? I want to find my sister. Your sister's worried about you. I need to find mine. And hurry up and ask. Not 
not bad. My immunity is getting pretty bad, but... All right, let me in. Barty. Okay, that's it. Don't make me fight him. I don't have a weapon. They gone? Yeah, I went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. She didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised his old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Um. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry! Ah, oh, fuck me. Inhibitor container detected. It's not the side door? Oh, shit. It is the side door, what the fuck? Yet, but he was bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. Please don't be a dead kid at the end of this trail. Like, I'm not emotionally prepared. Kid. Happy birthday, dear bird. Inhibitor container nearby. Are you kidding? Oh, Mommy. Ooh. Ah, hey, kid. Who are you? The maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Uh, yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen. <coughs> it's my birthday today. Uh, and... Can I ask a favor? You see... Over there, my radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. I just gotta. Hello? Mom? <coughs> you there? Mom? Nathan? Is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost. Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe! Barney promised! Sure. Oh. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom.
Barney. wasn't supposed to end like this. You there? Barney? Aiden. Are you there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. You better, man. Okay. The bazaar then. Man. At least the kid wasn't alone in the end, I guess. I have to follow his mom. What the hell? Oh, hey. Sorry. Didn't realize you were sleeping down there. That's my bad. My fits of fear don't do anything when it's not scripted. Ah! Not a single one of you has given me a request for water yet, so it's not really been on my to-do list. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? You got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckward Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? For what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me, my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. Okay, but where is she? Because I thought she'd be here. Ah, not again, you piece of... I haven't seen my kids in... Seriously, there's no time for delay. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar, only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. That's good. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? Um... It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas? He deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. 
Interesting. Okay. That's about, back with Carl. Yeah, extortionist. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Bad people who need Something water. Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. What do we do? What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Okay. I do have a confession to make, though. I don't really have, like, a weapon. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna sleep and then see about getting a weapon and then we'll go. Because, like, I could do normal guarding, but it's gonna be hard to guard from a distance if I don't have, like, Weaponry. What did you do? The card was good for Maiden. How should I know they were scammers? You couldn't have screwed it up more than you did. So I'm pretty sure I have a point, yeah. Let's see what is this? Oh, that would be so nice. That this would also be really nice. That last grip. Alright, have any weapons today? No? Alright, perfect. What about you? Oh, you do, kind of. Any like recipes though? Oh, we don't really have shit right now. Alright, meeting place. I say we help make sure this water deal goes down properly, right? And then we go ahead and light a candle for that kid because we took the quest like forever ago. Susie? You there? What? Susie, what's going on? It was a trap! Run! Fuck! Susie? Ralph? Aiden, hurry! They've got all the crystals, everything we have! Yep. love the people at the bazaar either. They did try to hang me, but I just want to get by, you know? <laughs> it's like, I know this is important, but hold on to me. Grab all of this. Thank you. Thank you. A weapon up here. I see bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it! I knew those motherfuckers would betray us! Fuck them, Aiden! Kill them all! As you wish, Sophie. Can you hack it? 
Survivors. Fucking animals. I guess I was. Susie had them. Oh man, okay, lady. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must. Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Is this? Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. I don't see these crystals. Uh, I don't have a weapon to deal with this right now. The goon. Huge, ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. You search the bodies. Oops, not that. Um... Even worry about it. <laughs> I'll share them out.
Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right. Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl. You don't want me to like Jack and Joe will deal with the giant Jack monster? Joe. Okay. Personally, I would prefer that as a. Right now, I just don't think I have what I need. How's going? You alive, man? Fuck. I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything Can about the commander's this? murder? No. I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ato will let us into the center. Why does he want in so bad anyway? <laughs> like, I know why we want into the center. Why does he on? Damn, the music picked up. What's wrong? I think a bee stung me. Damn it! Are you okay, guys sit good? Down. Don't want you passing out on me. And help? It must have noticed how handsome you are and tried to pollinate it. Guess not. Say that Aiden is a pretty interesting fellow. You're not wrong. But imagine just how fit you have to be to actually like do this all day. Hey, Herman. Where's Sophie? Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. <clears throat> okay. Well, I guess that means I should wait here. Huh? By wait, he means take a nap, of course. Since we've heard from you, girl. Baby, here. Mia. Aiden, what's the matter with you? Mia, where are you? Mia. Oh no. 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 Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party, not a wake. In case you change your mind.
He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. Bertie, to your help! Yeah, right, so. I gather you were close with Bertie. He tried to be a poet, kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand. I never told him how bad it was. He was a good kid. I took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone. He was 10 years old. That's pretty young. Too young, but he had no one else. So I took him in. All right, what are we going to do when we if catch these people? If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Monsieur's Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph... Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now, it's about saving your life. Uh, okay. I'll tear them apart. I swear, I'll gut them. Real slow. God damn, dude, calm down. By peace. Oh no, give me that back. What is the best way? Well, I don't want to fight that. Oh, I missed. Uh, well. Yes. Make it easy for me, come on. Oh god, it's so tanky. Uh, okay, later. When I have more than like one and a half weapons. that I couldn't get up last time, I think. Yeah, let me just get the TV real quick. And so chase people that I pissed them off. And uh, borrow all this stuff. And no worries, me and 80 boy will whatever it is we need to deal with. Alright, what's up? What's up, Mr. Peacekeeper Man? What do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First, Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. 
They may suspect you of being a PK spy. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She I don't know. hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Go help Sophie. But be careful, Hayden. I don't know, like... Which freaking faction to trust, man. The thing is, like, the peacekeepers are definitely assholes. Like, some of them, right? Like, does that mean all of them are? This is like the one that we fought at the start of the game. Pattern wise, so far at least. Probably like we told him to fight that Sophie chick and now he's down there. What is he doing? Uh, okay. I guess the sun came up. Rip. Okay, well, back to Sophie then. <coughs> I think it was going pretty well too. That's unfortunate. If anything, making me go over there makes me look way more suspicious. I'm gonna be like, so where were you? Time for it looks like Sophie's not here. I better look for her. Take a little detour. Can't let jerks like that wander around. Really, the only bad bad right now seems to be like the bandit. And like the guy who is selling water and is gonna let someone else take the fall. But overall, it doesn't seem to be like that bad, you know? I'm looking for Sophie. Where'd she go? Said she had important business to attend to. But you can wait here with us. If you came to find out if I have a boyfriend, I don't. Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind too. Fine. What brings you? Did you take care of Barney today? That guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Right. Where is Barney? Hey, where's yeah, your sister? Have you seen Sophie? Um, I'm looking for Ah, oh, it's our brave fucking pilgrim. Been looking for you. Drink up. Cheers. Sophie. 
Sorry, but I don't like drinking straight from the bottle. Ooh, the exalted count asks for a glass. Hey, did you get your radio checked by that dumbass Alberto? <laughs> that kook. Can't ever finish a sentence he starts. <laughs> Must have a brain made of Swiss cheese. Show some respect, Humphrey. Alberto's a genius with weapons and armor. What's your big skill? Farting into a harmonica and calling it music? Hey, you mangy pricks! Say your prayers. Barney's... Coming, and he's gonna kick your dairy ears. <laughs> I'll rip out your brains. Okay, well, then your hearts. What about you, uh, Randos? What? Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went. She said, the, uh, she went that way. Thank you. Exactly. Thanks. Wait! There's more! One more thing! Something's wrong with... Uh, uh, not working with... Uh, it's broken! That... Uh, oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio? Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now, is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids because of those fucking tests. Tests? You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too. And I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. And more, all across the city. And none of them have ever been found? No, but based on what Federico's mother said, I have a feeling I know what happened. Federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia. His mother was told that some GRE doctor had ordered blood tests, but they wouldn't tell her why. A week after he was released from the hospital, he was gone. Do you remember this doctor's name? No one knew, and no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop, but not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. Maybe you'll find him, brother. I hope he's alive, and that you find him someday. <coughs> I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bernie! Okay. Ralph! To your hell! 
I love you. What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? No, uh, sure. <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. About what? Time We're busy act. here. We're having a the moment. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. Okay, bro. Where is she? Like up there, up there, probably. make it nice let's see who get apparently the peacekeepers are watching us well let them see what happens to jack and joe and that we can do it to them too well you said it was time to act we're acting i sent three scouts towards the camp carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building And it can't approach a camp. Okay. Not many guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. Uh, if okay. anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. If you say so, so yeah. actually take a lot to piss off in the daytime. It's interesting. If you like piss off one, then and over. Change of plans, Aiden. They attacked our safe house. Who? Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. Anybody else seeing this? 
for this. Finish him off. Your weapons like disappear. Which is obviously problematic for me. men. that this like hella armored dude is like I got other things to do right now. Feedback actually super valuable. How 
that happen. I'm not a hundred percent sure what he was like about, but friends. Try this, asshole. Hey, really there, get it Got you now, jackass. I don't know about that. It's on now. What's on? I'm making these down. Looks so sweet. You like me now, asshole? Oops. Have your mallet thing. That would be super great. Establish a safe zone. Okay. Uh, this. After you climb the flag, all the loot will. Yeah. Okay. We got a new shirt. Hey. Oh, yeah, I have some nice weaponry. Not bad. Pleasure. Jack and Joe will pay in spades. Did we find Carl and stuff? Oh, okay. Pilgrim. Where's everyone else? Uh, dead. They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie, fast. Okay. It's safe out here though, so like you're fine. Sophie, I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie? Are you there? Oh, come on, Sophie. You have to help the maiden. All right, where? Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run. Fast. Don't tell me it's I'm another time thing. Look, all the loot didn't disappear. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Alright, anyways, just gonna make sure there's not another. Oh, no, okay. Thanks. If you ever need something, just ask for Christopher. Military airdrop. Ooh. All right, after we save Sophie, we should definitely do that. But anyways, guys, we did successfully do the raid, technically. We took over the stronghold. We saved Carl. And, you know, had our first run in with a nice lieutenant guy. But anyways, I think this is going to be where we call this one... Hopefully we get to Sophie in time in the next one. I'm not ready to lose another person. Plus I kind of like her. And I feel like if she dies, her brother is definitely going to have it out for us. Maybe we'll also figure out like which side we prefer in the next one. I'm very torn right now because like at least the peacekeeper I'm talking to doesn't seem like a bad guy just yet. But we'll see. Until then, it's been Ismay. Thank you all for hanging out and I'll see y'all soon for more.